Xiaomi did not have time to please us with the new king of the mid-budget smartphone Poco X3, as it has already presented another inexpensive smartphone called Poco M3. Currently Poco M3 can be purchased at a very sweet price. This is $130 for versions 4 and 64 GB of memory, and $150 for versions 4 and 128 GB of memory. The first thing that makes the Poco M3 stand out is its large 6.53-inch IPS Full HD Plus screen, a new Snapdragon 662 processor, a dual speaker and a high-capacity 6000 mAh battery. What can you expect from a budget smartphone under $150? So, let's start our detailed review. Xiaomi Poco M3. Specifications display. 6.53 inches IPS with 2340x1080 pixels, 60Hz CPU. Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 Octa-Core 2.0 GHz GPU. Adreno 610 RAM. 4GB ROM. 64 128 GB memory extension. Up to 256 GB cameras. 48 MP plus 2 MP plus 2 MP main camera and 8 MP front camera connectivity. Wi-Fi, 802.11, ABG and AC, dual band 3G, 4G, Bluetooth 5.0 and GPS battery. 6000 MA, 22.5 W, OS. Android 10 connections. Type C weight. 198 grams dimensions. 162.3 x 77.3 x 9.6 millimeters. Xiaomi Poco M3 is not only the most inexpensive smartphone with good technical stuffing, but it also has an attractive appearance. Besides the design, the device boasts a perfect combination of materials used. For example, a combination of two materials is used on the back of the case. The main one is matte corrugated plastic, which in its structure resembles a rubber material. It lies well in the hand, and I didn't have the feeling that it could slip out of my hands. The upper part of the back of the device uses a glossy platform. It's not as durable as matte plastic, but it is used as a mirror. Therefore, you will be able to take a beautiful photo with the main camera module. There is also a rectangular module of triple cameras and an LED flash on the top left corner. Now a little about the dimensions, the Poco M3 received 162.3 x 77.3 x 9.6 mm, and the smartphone weighs about 198 grams. Despite the fact that the body is made of plastic, the device is rather weighty. I think it's easy to guess why? It's all simple because of the rather large battery capacity, but I will talk about it a little later. On the right side of the device is a fingerprint scanner and a volume rocker. I would like to note that the scanner works quite quickly, it is accurate, and the location is comfortable for the thumb. On the left side of the smartphone, there is only one slot for dual nano SIM cards, and a memory card up to 512 GB. At the bottom, there is a microphone hole, a Type-C charging port and a main speaker. In addition, another additional microphone was installed at the top of the device. Yes, stereo sound is used here, but it's hard to call it high quality. For example, if the main speaker plays quite loudly, then the upper sub speaker does not play as loudly as we would like. Here you can also see a headphone jack, a hole for an additional microphone and an infrared port. The last thing to talk about is build quality. On the Poco M3, I did not find any assembly problems. The body is made monolithic, and the back cover practically does not bend. In general, given its insignificant cost, I liked everything about the new model of a budget smartphone. On the front of the Poco M3 smartphone, there is a fairly large screen by modern standards 6.53 inches. The display received Full HD Plus resolution or 1080x 2340 pixels. At the same time, the pixel density per inch was 395 ppi. The aspect ratio got 19.5. 9, and the screen to body ratio was 83.4%. Yes, based on these numbers, it is easy to see that the frames around the screen are quite large. Especially in the lower and upper parts, but on the sides the frames are insignificant. It is also worth mentioning that the brightness of the screen was only 400 nits, and this is a very low figure. But do not forget that the Poco M3 is not a flagship smartphone, but I can attribute it to budget devices. Therefore, the screen will not have the best brightness value. It also uses an IPS matrix, which is a standard 60-frame refresh rate. The modern budget processor Snapdragon 662 was installed on board the smartphone. It received four Cryo 260 Gold cores, which operate at 2.0 GHz, and four more energy-saving Cryo 260 Silver cores, with a clock frequency of 1.8 GHz. 
Besides, the chipset uses 11 nanometer technology and shows good results in benchmarks. Responsible for the graphics is the Adreno 610 accelerator, which also has good performance during games. Poco M3, although it is a budget one, will be able to run heavy games not at the lowest graphics settings, but even at high ones. At the same time, I did not find a strong overheating even for half an hour. As I mentioned, the new Poco M3 has a global version out of the box. Therefore, I had no problems with cellular communication and LTE connection. Yes, this smartphone does not support 5G connections, only 4G. Also on board the smartphone was installed Wi-Fi of the 6th generation, Bluetooth 5.0 version, and a fast GPS module. But what I'm missing is a contactless payment module, there is no NFC on the Poco M3. The smartphone is controlled by the Android 10 operating system, and of course has the MIUI 12 user interface. After testing for several days, I did not find any freezes or other serious problems. All functions work adequately and, most importantly, quickly. There are triple main camera modules on the device. The main sensor is 48 megapixel with f1.8 aperture. The quality of the photos during the daytime is pretty good. In low light conditions, photos using night mode are also good. The second and third camera module received a resolution of 2 megapixels with f2.4 aperture. They are designed for macro and portrait mode respectively. If I have no questions about the Baca mode and how it works, then they are present in the macro mode. The quality of photos is rather poor and not bright. On the front side, there is an 8 megapixel camera module with f2.1 aperture. The quality of the photos is not bad and just right for social networks. Video recording on both the main and front cameras is possible only at 1080p resolution and at 30 frames per second. At the same time, smoothness is not enough, but the picture is clear and bright. As I said, the main feature of the Poco M3 is its large battery capacity, which was 6000 ma. Considering its energy-saving processor, the battery life will be about two days with active use. This is, indeed, a high figure for a budget smartphone. For example, my tests showed that the smartphone was discharged during one hour of watching videos on YouTube at maximum brightness by 9%, and in games by 15%. I can also note about the presence of fast charging with a 22.5 watts power adapter. Therefore, a full charge will take you about 2 hours of your time. Conclusion is that. Xiaomi Poco M3 is not just a king of the budget segment of smartphones, but also a beautiful, productive device that will delight its owner every day. It copes calmly even with difficult tasks, for example, during my tests, I could easily play games such as PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty and others. In addition, I like the work of the user interface with its many functions and features. The appearance and build quality are at a fairly high level, given its segment and cost. I like the grooved plastic design on the back of the device. Another positive side is the battery life and the availability of fast charging. But there were some drawbacks, I can attribute to them this is a 2 megapixel macro module, lack of 4K video resolution, and an ultra-wide mode sensor. Also, the smartphone is not equipped with the highest brightness level and has not received an NFC module. 